Hello everyone, this is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton. So I'm staying with my ex right now and I just pretty much lost my place because I fixed this GE washer and dryer and it's ungrateful people like this one I'm leaving friggin' Edmonton. I didn't even charge them. I sat here when I was sitting on the toilet and I saw the tools and the washer and the thing was just buggered and nothing works and apparently her landlord hired the professional repairman. Um, the professional repairman in Edmonton is my best friend because they fuck up so much stuff. All I do is fix their stuff and I got to start charging more because these guys make a lot more than I do. I could just walk around and fuck up stuff and I think people would pay me. Anyways, so um, what happened on this here is that this is a GE stackable washer and dryer and these things got a really bad problem. If you got one of these, don't overload it because they can't take a lot. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just releasing the pins here so I can pop the front door off and I'll show you what it is I fixed. Yeah, really, Lucas, you can be a little bit more nicer with that washer and dryer. Well, look, hey, I've already had uh, two, two, two repairmans. Apparently, the uh, a landlord has brought in to fix this stuff and they've already mauled it. I got a whole bunch of screws they found on the bottom of it that they didn't have in and all this kind of stuff. So it's just wonderful. I don't know who fixed it last time, but they're incompetent. So what happened with this washer and dryer is that these things go falling off balance. And then you got these things right here. These are your stays that hold the drum up. And if this thing goes off balance, it'll pop the stays at the top because uh, I don't know if I can pop it up. I don't really want to. Um, there's little twist locks here. You can see the bottom of them here where they got the stays. And they're not in a really good shape. They're not a really good deal. Um, if you could go through these again and um, you could do the... Um, uh maybe epoxy the top or put some rubberizing compound around the top of these things on the top if you open up the top and you can see it um if you put some rubberizing compound on them maybe it'll stop these things from popping out but really these aren't big washers they're not made to be overloaded and when one of these stays goes this thing just bounces around on its tracks and it hits your um, um lid switches and it just wrecks all kinds of stuff um, so yeah, with this one here, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, I just put the stay back on, clipped everything back in. Um, the stay metal stay, the hook at the top of it was a little bit warped. So I bent it back with just a pair of needle nose pliers, nothing big. And, uh, I did this with my son's tools actually. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then the only thing that you have to do after that is to reset the computer. Um, resetting the computer on this washing machine is really easy. So you just go to on, you hold these two buttons for three seconds. Switch it to normal. Sorry, I had to put it down there. While holding the button, don't let the buttons go when you do the switch. Sorry, see I switched it to normal. Hold the button still and then let go. And then she starts flashing. And that means your computer's been reset. And bang, we're off. We're back to normal again. So there you go. Again, this is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton coming at you from this. I gotta stop change, I gotta stop saying Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton. Because it's just Enterprise Repair and Automation now. I'm fucking done. Every time I fix stuff in this city, I just get in trouble. So I'm not fixing things anymore. And it sucks because Alberta's falling apart. And I don't want to fix things. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll be back for more.